hello everybody, it is Nick here with another Nick's Topics Dragon Ball What If Topic video for you guys today. And today, we are getting into part 8 of What If Nom Became a Z Fighter. Now, for the last episode, to recap, Nappa was defeated already by the likes of one... Piccolo, who had not yet gotten the chance to use the special beam cannon, sort of reminiscent to when he fought Radis, and in the 23rd tournament he didn't get to use any of his skills there, so sort of like a mismatch between him and Tien, honestly, throughout this series, except Piccolo way more. Anyways, Piccolo using the special beam cannon, pretty much the same effect as when he used it against Radis the first time, not the second time. Nappa throws off his armor in anger and prepares a Bomber DX to try and kill Piccolo. But, luckily, Tien, who had been training on King Kai's with Nam and Goku, powers up to the highest level Kaioken he can muster and fires a full power spirit tri-beam at Nappa, which completely incinerates Nappa in the blink of an eye. The special beam cannon only scarred his shoulder, but this just straight up killed him. There's not even a trace of him left. Vegeta, after seeing this, is questioning to himself whether Nappa was just that weak, or whether these Earthlings, Namekian, and Saiyans, whether all these people are actually stronger than he gave them credit for. And he has to think this to himself, because he's got to keep his composure. And now he has to face them himself. And Yamcha is the only one who has died as of now. Now, when it comes to the fight with Vegeta, Vegeta powers up straight away because he saw the power on display from Tien, and he's not going to make that same mistake again. So, if you think that somehow him powering up will matter in the grand scheme of things, Yamcha might be dead. And if you guys are wondering about the picture, it's because I represented all the fighters for this saga. You'll just pretend Yamcha, just, just re remember that he's dead. So he's just there for display. Anyways, with Piccolo, Nam, Goku, Tien, Krillin, and Gohan, who'd been training with Kami instead of Piccolo, all ganged up against him, Vegeta almost has little to no chance. The fighters don't even have to use Kaioken. And if they do, well, Goku, Tien, and Nam mainly, it's really still not necessary. And soon enough, Vegeta himself realizes this and realizes that Nappa, he wasn't exactly weak. Well, he was in standards to him, but it made sense that he lost. Which in turn makes Vegeta have to resort to his power pole to transform into an Ozaru. So, Great Ape Vegeta makes his appearance, and now... The fighters, especially Goku Tien and Nam, have to actually start trying their hardest. But, luckily, not for long, because Krillin has a plan to cut off Vegeta's tail, because everyone knows about the Saiyan tail at this point in time. So, while everyone, except Krillin, are distracting Great Ape Vegeta enough so to get him off Krillin's back, because he doesn't even know where Krillin is... Krillin then charges up his Destructo Disc. This would be the first time it, that he's actually used it, since Nappa was pretty much killed right then and there. He fires a full power Destructo Disc right at Vegeta's tail, cutting it off instantly. Now, Vegeta is pretty much... He has no chance of winning. All his regular moves, even his full power, didn't work against all of them. His Ozaru didn't work against all of them. And now, he's looking pretty worse for wear. But, he's not finished yet. He still tries to fight, but it's just no use. In the end, he just has to be forced to retreat. And, like he did before. But... He's not actually going to have that opportunity this time. And this is also reminiscent to a other story of mine. I forget whether it was the Hercule or Giren story. Right before he's about to retreat, except this time it's a way different instance, Piccolo 
who has not had any kind of redemption since Gohan did not train with him. He didn't really have any soul, like, real redemption arc. Piccolo just blasts him without any care in the world. Much to Goku's chagrin, honestly. He would be the only one that would care that Piccolo just killed Vegeta. So Vegeta is dead way earlier on in the show. Sort of like my either Hercule or Giren. What if? I'm not sure which one. But I think it was the Giren one. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Afterwards, Shenron is summoned and all the people who lost their lives in the city Nappa and Vegeta destroyed, as well as Yamcha, are restored. Which means that they don't have to worry about Dragon Balls. But then we cut to a very interesting thing. Because now we have to talk about something. Does Namek still happen? And does Frieza still go there? Because there was no talk about Dragon Balls. But here's another thing. Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta all pointed out that Piccolo was a Namekian. So I feel that this would sway Frieza to check out Namek for the fabled story of the Dragon Balls. So Namek will still happen. Frieza's still going to go there, but... It's not aroused around Dragon Balls completely. It's just to check, honestly. Kui is going to stay on the planet he was at because Vegeta's dead. Not really important in the grand scheme of things for him, but it's still something to know. Now, as for how the others are going, the Z Fighters are going to come about Namek, is, well, that's also hard. Because Piccolo, as I've said hasn't really gotten a redemption, so I feel that he wouldn't care about Namek, honestly. And even if a slimmer of him did, I feel that that would be sidetracked back to him just being evil, honestly. But then we have to remember that Kami is a thing, and I feel that he would want to know what his true roots are and ask the others to check it out for him because he can't leave Earth. And I feel that the other Z fighters would also want to go to Namek, check it out, because why not? Anyways, they would not use Kami's ship. They would come about it, but because of Goku, Tien's, and Nam's training on King Kai's world, I feel that their ship would be modified into the capsule ship that Goku used in the original. Like I've said before in my other few stories of Dragon Ball, even if the Dragon Balls weren't purely mentioned, and even if they didn't have a reason... Like, if everyone lived in the Saiyan Saga, I feel that they would go there regardless in some cases. In more cases than one. And I don't think people really look into that as much as I think they should. But it is a what if. Anything could happen. Now, what do you guys think is going to happen going down the road without Vegeta in the story, for one thing? Even though we've already discussed what could happen before. But, even though Vegeta's gone again... It's not going to be the same story. Well, obviously, because Nom's a part of it and there are many changes. So what do you guys think is going to happen? And how will the battle with Frieza ultimately turn out? And that's where we leave things for the moment. So what did you guys think about this part? Do you like the way the story's playing out? And another story where Vegeta is iced right in the Saiyan saga? How do you think this will go on into the future of the story? Will it have disastrous ramifications, or will it not really be that big a deal? Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, and I will see you guys next time.